Hey Siri, how do you have a heart attack on stream? Spooky Boy's back. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope everyone has had a good Christmas. I hope it has been the turkey breast Christmas you've ever had. <laughs> I like puns. If you're new here, my name is Ghost Arcade. I stream on Twitch three days a week, make some YouTube videos, obviously. <laughs> and if you do like the video, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Turn on all the notifications. I make other stuff like content similar to this to help other streamers and content creators alike. And I also throw in a few clips as well of me doing the derpiest things you will ever see in your entire life. <laughs> Now with that out of the road, let's get into the video. So in October, I made a video and it was how to get a heart rate monitor from your Apple Watch to your stream. In today's video, this is gonna be the easiest BPM heart rate monitor video from your watch to your stream ever. Don't Google that. So this is gonna be how to get this heart rate monitor from your Apple Watch to stream in three easy steps. Step one, download Stromo app. This app is $6.99. The picture is coming up here so you guys can find it on the app store. I've been using this for about a month now, maybe a tiny bit more, and I've had absolutely no issues. These guys have actually customized a Ghost Arcade heart rate monitor image, which is kind of awesome to have on my stream. So once you go, you download the app, the app will be on your phone. Then you want to come to the website. The website is www.stromno.com. I cannot say that properly. I have been trying an embarrassingly long time. I've been trying to say that. So whenever you come to the website, you need to create an account. This could be with an email address and a password. Once this comes through, you will need to confirm your account and then you can go back over to the dashboard. And whenever you go to the dashboard, you will get something that looks like this. So as you can see on the dashboard, we have a picture of the Apple Watch with a code on it. And then it will be a widget link as well. This widget link will be for your stream, so you can copy and paste this and put it into Streamlabs, OBS, OBS Studio, Stream Elements, or you can put it into any streaming service that allows browser source. We take our Apple Watch, and then whenever we go into the app, sign in by using that code on screen. This code will refresh every couple of minutes, so make sure that you're putting in the code quite quick. Hello, just me, editing. I wanna put this in here just to say that whenever you are actually putting in this code. Yeah, every time that you disconnect from the actual device itself and then reconnect to it later on, you will actually have to re-enter a new code. So make sure that you always load that web browser up. So the web browser is always there whenever you're going to stream. It's just is what it is. Is what it is. Anyway, back to the video. Hope you guys are enjoying and... Bye. It's pretty simple to do. So you just put in the code and then you can hit sign in. Then you hit start. And whenever you hit start on the program, then you wait a couple of minutes, go back to your internet page, your browser page, and then you will see that it says that it is online and it will give you an active feed of what your BPM is. So you could double check it against your watch. Then if you go down to the settings part of it, which is the lower part of the page, then you could choose between what kind of heart rate monitor that you want. Uh, uh, what kind of font do you want? They have limited kind of options at the moment. However, it is better than the last app that I showed you guys. I can't even remember its name. I don't even, what is it? I don't know. Back to the video. So whenever we go back to this, you make sure to hit save so you can get the ideal one that you want. And then you are gonna copy the widget link. And then we are gonna go over to your Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna do this now. So whenever you go into Streamlabs OBS, make sure that you hit add a new source. Whenever you add a new source, you're gonna go over to browser source. You're gonna go hit add source. Whenever you hit the add source, go down to the bottom bit that says add a new source instead. We're gonna add a new source. I'm gonna call this Stromno or BPM. I don't know. And whatever you wanna call it and hit add source. So then whenever you hit the add source, it is gonna bring you to a page that looks like this. So we are gonna paste the URL that is in here. The width is going to be 300 and the height is going to be 300 as well. And if you leave everything else the way that it is, as you can see, the BPM has now came up on your screen. So this is your heart rate monitor actively on your stream. This should be live and whenever your BPM changes on your Apple Watch, it should change on your browser source as well. That is literally it. That is the video. That is the whole thing. So now that we're done with this, what's up? You have a good Christmas? Anyway, so if you do like the video, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and the bell icon. I stream on Twitch three days a week. The link is in the description. It's also coming across the video right now, right here, right here, just so you can read 
the thing. Please do come in, hit me up. It is a good time. I promise you it's a good time. And tune in next time for the next video where I am going to be eating spicy noodles and I am going to be sweating. It will not be a good time. Join our Discord as well. All the links are down below. I just want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. These absolute spooky boys and spooky girls that are coming across the screen right now have been continuously supporting me from the start of this YouTube channel and it is insane and I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of them. If you do want to become a spooky boy and join the Patreon, please do. Once again, the link is below. Click on it. It may be for you, it may not be for you, but you know what? If it's not for you, you're not a spooky boy. So, there you go. But until next time, folks, I'm Gozer Kid, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!